still, but it is opener for model rifle, Eastern Washington State for deer hunting. We are mule deer hunting right now. Uh, we got to camp very late last night, and I didn't get to bed till about one in the morning. So. split up pretty soon here when uh, we get enough light. It's 6.45 right now, but it's overcast, so it's super hard to, well, it's super dark still, so we walked up to this deer, so we're just gonna wait until daylight and then move, because we don't want to bump it. Don't want to bump whatever's with it. So we're just playing it safe. Excited. My wife is always first shooter. And uh, see how the day goes. We plan to be here for about four days. But if we get it done early, then we'll go home. But we'll see how the morning plays out. So far we've seen about, I'd say total about 10 does. Um, we haven't seen that bug that we saw this morning. We bumped it in his bed. But, there's nothing you can do when it's still, uh, it's not shooting light yet. We had that bug probably in front of us for about 20 minutes. gets hammered hard.
about 11 right now. It's been a rather slow morning. Uh, we haven't seen any deer since this morning. And uh, it's kind of windy today. It's not, it's not as bad, it's not as cold now with the sun up. But it's 11.08, 11.10 ish. So we might as well heat up some water and uh, boil some water for our uh, top ramen. We're eating uh, quality, <laughs> quality food up here. Why not? So, pull out the jet boil here. You know what, hot food makes a huge difference. Puffy coat. like that all of hunters like vanished yeah. there's like pumpkin patch this morning like literally everywhere I and mean, now everybody's all probably headed back to camp uh, we're not that far away from our camp either uh, we camped in a different spot this year <clears throat> just to make the hike easier for Jamie and whatnot but when you take that easy route then you deal with a bunch of people as well so we're just gonna hang out Make it a full day trip. I've killed bucks in the mid afternoon before. They tend to move once uh, the shooting stops and uh, once everybody just mellows down, then uh, a lot of times they'll move beds or either move locations or what not, whatever they're doing. So we're just sitting here on this little rock cliff, watching down this little side hill. Uh, we got about like maybe 150-ish yards to the tree line and in the tree line we could see about maybe 40-50 yards inside the tree line. I mean it's, it's timbered area but it's pretty, it's rather open so hopefully something legal steps out. That's all we're looking for, legal buck. Mm -hmm. But let's get this thing. Look on the side. Huh? What? What does it say? Where? Do not heat empty. Light before attaching pot. This thing's brand new. Look, stickers. That's my favorite instruction. Like, really brand new. Still got all this stuff on it. Theoretically, we probably should have uh, washed it before. <laughs> oh, it should be fine. Connect and secure fuel can. But yeah, I'm gonna heat up some water and uh, eat some ramen real quick. It's a big old bird. It's a big old grouse. Blue grouse, dusky grouse. We got one lucky guy today.
folks. Uh, we made it back to camp around uh, 6. Uh, we had a super slow afternoon, evening hunt and uh, whatnot. I think today we saw a total of about 10 total deer. Plus that legal buck we saw during, uh, well before shooting light. We just can never turn back up. So, uh, Very slow day, slow evening for us and uh, pretty typical for us the past few years. Uh, we covered quite a bit of ground today and uh, with all the uh, other hunters and whatnot, we were just kind of, we just stayed in, two, in one little area because there's people everywhere and there's no point of going around and bumping people and whatnot. So, oh, well, no shots fired today. Uh, congrats to my dad. He did tag out this morning. He shot a three by three uh, close to where uh, Jamie shot her first mule deer and uh, my mom and my dad packed the whole thing out by themselves so pretty cool my dad is in his 60s he's starting to uh planning to retire next year so the fact that he still gets up hikes and shoots and packs it out uh i think that's probably like a three and a half uh mile three and a half mile trip back to the car maybe not as much but with all the up and downs and whatnot every step uh, adds up and whatnot. So congrats to my dad. Uh, I'm not sure if my cousin did shoot one this morning or not. It must have been my dad that shot it and they must have been confused on who shot a buck this morning. But I know for sure my dad got one because I talked to my dad this evening through my radio, uh, just uh, checking on them and see if everything is okay or not. So we're gonna camp here again. We're probably gonna drop back down to where we saw that buck this morning and whatnot so yeah this is our camp we got our canopy our tent my truck's right there we got a big old big old fire going on right here it is cold as heck it's gonna be like in the 30s tonight so pretty cold it's supposed to snow tomorrow but we'll see if it actually does snow so the plan was to stay till Tuesday but my dad tagged out, so they're going home tomorrow. Uh, we're gonna hunt tomorrow and then decide from there if it's worth staying or go to a different spot and whatnot. So yeah, we're cooking dinners right now. We're gonna eat and then probably just hang out for another hour or so and uh, go to bed and uh, get up early tomorrow and do it all over again. So we will see you guys in the morning. Second morning, uh, the weatherman said we were supposed to get snow, and we got snow. We got about maybe a quarter inch to half inch of snow. I don't really measure it, but uh, enough snow to where we should be able to see new tracks. Uh, should be able to spot animals easier, and uh, hopefully the drive off the mountain won't be too bad. I mean, it doesn't take a lot of snow to be slick, so just have to drive slow when we uh, get off the mountain later. Uh, we do have chains. I always carry tire, tire chains, or well, snow chains, whatever you call them, in my truck. So, should be good, but people will be blasting up and down this road all day like they did yesterday, so I'm not too worried about the road being slick. It should probably be, should probably be melted by the time we go down. but. Yeah, it's uh, 6.30ish, probably 6.40 right now. As you can see, it's still dark. And uh, we're just gonna get warmed up and then uh, head on out. We noticed we were bumping to more deer yesterday, hiking in the dark. So we're just gonna wait till we have almost daylight and then go in and uh, hunt. Uh, going in instead of going to a spot in class. We'll just uh, slowly hunt and go and uh, whatnot. So yeah, we're gonna get ready and uh, we'll see. We'll see you guys on the hillside.
first deer of the day. There's three of them. Still looking for that lake of buck. Uh, the snow has kind of come and gone. It'll like snow and it'll stop and it'll snow again. So right now we're fortunate that it's not snowing right now. So hopefully it stays like this, but uh, everything looks super dark. So I'm sure we'll get more snow, but hopefully it stays calm enough so that we can at least hunt majority of the day and then go back and pack up camp and relocate. So eye on these three does for now and uh, see if any illegal shooter bucks step out anywhere. Well, as you guys can see, we're totally socked in now. Well, we're gonna move, we're gonna slowly hunt the timber and uh, work our way back to the truck. It's about maybe 10 till five or so, somewhere around there. But uh, earlier I went to the bathroom and I actually ran into a buck. I had multiple shot opportunities. I just couldn't identify if it was a actual three-pointer so I didn't shoot and uh it's the only bug we've seen all day but I was playing cat and mouse with him for a little bit and with this fog I just couldn't I knew he had antlers I just wanted to make sure he was actual legal to shoot him but I have plenty of sh uh, shot opportunities just yeah gotta make sure your target so let him live he just walked off it wasn't too spooked he wasn't he never really got a good glance at me because it was so uh, foggy so he's still somewhere over there but we're gonna go work the timber and uh see if Jimmy will shoot something today so let's get on the road and we're not on the road we're on the ridge line I guess what we should say but man I don't mind if it's foggy like this because we can work the timber but it makes it hard to identify things so see how it goes Arguably the hardest.
folks, it is day three, morning of day three. Uh, we moved locations to our usual camp, and uh, my parents, even though my dad tagged out, they decided to stay because uh, they knew we were staying, so they just figured they'd stay with us. And uh, Con Grouse, my dad still has his bear tag, so he can still hunt bear and whatnot, so we just got up there. You guys just saw those four. Uh, mule deer, I think there's three does and one spike. But it's a cold morning, you guys can see behind us. The fog is just now starting to lift. It's a beautiful morning. It looks really cool. So, my brother, my younger brother Kong, actually showed up super late last night, too. So, Kind of unexpected, but he's here too. He's hunting, I think, three ridges over. But we'll connect throughout the day, get hold of each other, see what's up, and I'll see if anything's moving. So, yeah, that's just a game plan. We don't really, I don't really have a designated spot to sit in class this morning. But, I mean, right here we can class a lot of country, but I usually never see bugs around here besides that spike, so we'll probably wait for the, for the uh, clouds to lift, the fog to lift, and then uh, we'll go from there, but man, scenery is just beautiful this morning. You can do it, Jamie. You can do it. <laughs> Why does your enthusiasm somehow still sound sarcastic? <laughs> you got this. The deer over to this ridge. Huh? The deer just over this ridge. You... Is it not over this ridge? Or over the next no. <laughs> I die. It's alright. It's right there. Let's I'm keep on going. Ready to go to bed. Nonsense. I don't speak that language wrong. Facts. Fun time. You had two hours to take a nap. You did No. See what I deal with? Negativity. But we're almost to the top of this top of this ridge. We'll see if we'll see anything up here.
looks like that's going to be the end of our trip. Uh, this is opening weekend for deer hunting, mule deer hunting, whitetail hunting, whatnot. And uh, we only have this weekend to hunt mule deer this year. Next weekend we'll be going out to Idaho uh, along with my two brothers and my cousin. We still have four of our elk tags to uh, try to fill. So with our tag, I don't know if it goes for our, some other units, but our tag, we are given five days uh, in late October to hunt elk with rifles. So as you guys saw, we didn't tag out in September. So we're going back to try to fill at least one or two tags with rifles and whatnot. So yeah, not much to show for this trip. Uh, very little activity and uh, it looks like it was just slow for almost everybody and whatnot so we'll see if i get out tomorrow to do some whitetail hunting closer to home and uh yeah we'll just see how the season plays out but i hope you guys are having better luck than we are we hiked pretty hard today my wife is pooped she's ready to go home and uh, my parents are waiting for us at the truck so we're gonna drop down go pack up and uh make that three and a half hour drive home so yeah hope you guys are having good luck out there and uh, we will see you guys in the next video